Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I did not really expect to start to film a video today, but today is the day of the rehearsal dinner, and I figured, why not film a get ready with me? I don't know. We'll see if this makes it to the channel. I just did my nails, so they look pretty good, I think. Look at my nose. And today is our rehearsal dinner. So I need to do something with this hair. I think I'm just gonna curl it. I'm just using, I don't know, do people care about this stuff? What am I using? Pureology Smooth Perfection. So smooth. I don't know, I gotta curl my hair and I gotta do my makeup. So I guess we'll see how far I get with this before I just stop filming. I need to plug in my curling iron or we're not gonna have curled hair. I freaking love this curling iron. I got this, I wanna say, right before I stopped working at my old job. It's a T3 and it has attachments. And I don't know which ones I wanna do today. Probably one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I'll do this one. It's a wand. It's kinda cool. How it works, it just... <laughs> I make sure I put it in right. Shimmies. And then... Locked. Now I can plug it in and uh, not electrocute myself. That'd be nice. The electrocution. Just kidding. That would not be nice. Just pray I don't lose a nail before. one it's to help with any breakouts i love this stuff dermalogica clear start booster it's good i use it all over my face you can use it as spot stuff i think um <clears throat> but i like to use it on my face and then my lotion my sister calls this my snail snot because it's basically what it is it's snail mucus it's by cosorex and it is the best moisturizer ever, in my opinion. I don't care if it's goopy. It's just so good. I feel like such a boy when I put on moisturizer because I just be smearing it all over. Okay, I'm skin cared. I'm hoping my curling iron's not enough to start this. Because I really don't want to wait anymore. I want to get this over with so I can put makeup on and just relax before I have to go anywhere. This is honestly the longest part, and hopefully this doesn't take me an hour. Fingers crossed. I really wish I finished my nails sooner, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go back over some of these pieces after. That was so rude. Okay, hopefully it's there. My phone doesn't take another tumble. Because the way that shit just fell was kind of horrifying. I can't believe I'm getting married. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I never uh, thought I'd be the type to have a wedding. I don't know. I never thought marriage was ever the possibility of a realm, but I don't know. Weddings are fun to go to, um, but they're definitely not fun to plan. And um, never want to do this again. <laughs> it's for real, one and done. Mark's not gonna get a choice. Honestly, I think what I'm most excited about tomorrow is the actual ceremony. Because our friend um, is marrying us. He low-key got it to marry us. But then also, like, <clears throat> so obviously other people want to get married in. Being able to do that is kind of sick. So our friend, who has known us forever, um, is marrying us. So um, I'm excited to see what everyone has to say about his little whole shebang thing he wrote. 
Honestly, the preparation and waiting is the worst part. Hands down. Like, I'm not a patient person to begin with, so... Yeah. <laughs> waiting for this day to come has not been easy. Alright, I guess I'm gonna finish my head and come back when I do my makeup. Seems like a good idea so I don't get distracted, right? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how, but I curled my hair in like 20 minutes, so. I haven't used that foundation brush in a very long time, but I think that this foundation needs it. This is the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. Um, I'm gonna think now that I have some fake tan on, it will match me a little bit better than it did. Oh yeah. Yeah, my cousin was not lying when she said not to use my fingers with this. This feels so weird. I haven't <laughs> put makeup on like this in a long time, let alone um, like, I guess, film it. It feels goofy. Like it just doesn't, not that it feels wrong, but Oh, I think I just poked myself in the eye. I think I need to fill in my eyebrows before I even do this. I don't know why. I don't really fill in my eyebrows because I did tint them pretty good, but I need to comb through them. I found in my makeup stash that I had a freaking brow whiz unopened. You know how many times I've gone and not replenished this specific product, but um, the amount of time pr brow products I've bought since I bought this one and it's been sitting in like storage is kind of gross. I usually use the brow marker from Anastasia, but I just don't want my brows to look like unnatural. Especially because the tint that they're tinted at right now is like kind of perfect. Better not because then I will use my concealer around them. Um, my brow gel is not this is not actually the Control Freak brow gel. Um, I ran out of brow gel and my solution to that was filling this with got to be glued hair gel. It works good, but I wanna try to find something that's equally as good and not as stiff. That's actually pretty good, surprisingly. For concealer, I'm using Morphe too. It's okay. I saw that Glossier is being carried in Sephora now. And oh my god, I swear by their concealer. If you have like skin like me where most makeup doesn't sit right on it. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me problem, but I have drier skin. Not desert dry, but drier. And sometimes I think like just doesn't stick well i guess i don't know part of me wants to attempt to contour but i'm scared but we're gonna do it anyway to this. <laughs> i can't lie i am scared i'm gonna ruin my makeup right now but just add a teensy teensy bit because i just don't know if i really have the face shape to be I guess I'm just gonna. Uh, uh, just gonna use this. I don't know. I might regret that decision tomorrow. It's not horrible, but I don't want to go anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to look crazy. Soft rose blush stick from Anastasia on the back of my hand. It's very dark, but I like to warm it up on my hand, then on my finger. This is my first time trying this on top of this foundation, by the way. But it's actually not horrible. Okay. I'm gonna be crazy, I'm gonna go for it. That hairline. I don't know, I feel like this makes or breaks my makeup if I don't blend it in my hairline. I feel like I look stupid like I'm wearing a mask. But that's me, okay? Tell me about it, Birdie. Mm. <laughs> 
I'm saying I'm pretty satisfied with this base. Um, I'm just gonna probably add a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of powder blush and some highlighter. Then I'll do my eyes and then I'll save my lips and do that last. Bronzer. Cover FX. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Sun Kissed Bronze. Um, my cat's not this. And then, you know, both the thingies are uh, little Lucy Goose. I hope I don't look too bronzed. Ugh. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's fine. That actually looks a lot better. Now that I'm patting it in. This is my foundation brush. I don't know. Call me weird, but I use this to blend everything together. <laughs> Damn, I look good so far. Alright, now I need a little bit of powder blush. Probably just gonna use this really old one. Um, it's Kylie Cosmetics, but it's ancient, so the packaging don't even look like this no more. But... Enough to add a little flush. Tell me where if we're just putting blush on my forehead, but it's where the sun hits. I feel good. I feel like I look good. <laughs> Only thing is to do my eyes, which I'm gonna do very, very light because I don't wanna go too crazy. I'm gonna just use this. I got this to use on my wedding day, but I'm gonna use it again. Just a little bit. I only want like I think one color. You know what help? It's probably my uh, eyeshadow primer. I think I want to just do like a nice light brown, something really glittery on the lid, and like a matte highlight color. Since I don't really set anything, I usually pat before I blend, especially with eyeshadow. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that Morphe palette. Probably hope I hold it the right way. This was Pony's palette, and I love her. Love, love, love her. Honestly, I wish that they. Released just in this shade right here. Breathe on its own. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It is like the prettiest um, glittery shade. It just looks so simple, but also like not simple at the same time. I, this I'm pretty sure is the contour color in this palette. Good enough for me. And now I must, because I can't not. I love the smoky dark under eye. It doesn't even have to be smoky and dark. It could just be this mid color. But I feel like this is number one in makeup. You need to do this. Even if you think you look stupid, like just look at the difference. I feel like this eye looks so much better than this eye. Just because of it. How could you just not want to do this? I don't know if I really want to attempt to put lashes on myself because I don't know if I can do it. Um, unfortunately, I am not that talented. Also, I just did this whole eye look with like two brushes. I know how to use my finger to do the glitter. Like, I don't know if you can even... I don't know if you can really see the true glitteriness of what this... will do. To me, this is like an everyday, easy but out there, uh, shadow look. <laughs> Not that I need to justify it, but uh, that's it. Now I guess um, put on mascara and I'm done until I do my lips. And then that I'm not gonna probably do on camera or I will do like right before I leave. And then, this is my favorite mascara of all time. Best mascara ever. I don't care if it's a little pricey. I don't care. It's so good. Every time I wear just this, people ask me if I have a lash lift in tint. Um, I do not. I have this mascara on usually if I'm wearing anything. It's a little something. It's not crazy, but it's there. And then you could always add more onto it. If you really want to. And then the only thing I haven't done that I need to do is highlighter on my face. 
And my brow bone, actually. What the heck? This brush is so ancient. I got this from the dollar store, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is a dollar store elf brush. I'm just taking a matte white and... Highlighting my brow bone. Wonderful. Now I'm going to highlight my face. Um, my old ass Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. And I, I do everything with my hands. I can't help it. It just looks better, I think. Something about Anastasia highlighters, I feel like it needs to be applied with the hands. Because they're like on that weird territory line of like... Highlighter powder, highlighter cream. And then I'm gonna go on top with How Many Carrots by Fenty Beauty. I love, love this highlighter. Boom. Bam. Now the only thing is to get dressed, do my lip, and go. But I'm gonna relax. While I have time. Okay, let's see it. Braids by my sister. Beautiful shirt. Mmm. Okay, okay, wait. Now me. <laughs> okay. So the dinner went good. The rehearsal went good. Now I'm just at my mom's to hang out. So that's all I got for you. So thank you for watching this video. And the next time I see you, I will be married. Bye.